We take it from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 19. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants, and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his servant ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth, and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants coming and reckoned it with him. Amen.
Matthew chapter 25, 14, 15. You want to stand and read what he Lord, help me. We're going to snail our way yes, sir. Yes, sir. Through, steward, through stewardship. Amen. Yes, amen. We got time. We talked about time last week. Mm -hmm. And this week we want to talk about God-given abilities. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God-given abilities. Now, we I'm grateful. At the end of worship, immediately after e at the end of worship, I want the uh, I want the building committee that's present to meet with me just to, for a moment so we can prepare for tomorrow, eh? Just a, just a moment, and then the uh, uh, finance committee. Uh, while you all and Brother Burris and Brother Hargraves, uh, we want to determine whether we need uh, to meet maybe this afternoon, but we meet in the finance room before we leave, boy, and let's get, get some things together, all right, and in preparation for tomorrow, amen. So immediately I'm headed out to get with the building committee and, uh, and get your thoughts. Abilities. Abilities. I'd like, but we'll do it a little later, I'd like to recant all of where we've been. Because if you get nothing else, I want you to know that stewardship is about more than money. Amen. Stewardship is about more than money. For if you do not have the right heart, you'll never do right by the money. That's right. Yeah. You have to really understand who you are. I got something here I know y'all had never seen. Amen. I talking about stewardship. I got something here. This is what brother. Brother Hargrave needed yesterday, and brother. Uh, yeah. and these folk, they were they were good stewards. The folk that used this were great, were good stewards. And brother Hargrave, we could got, we could have got, brother uh, uh, Mondrell through with them heads a long time early yesterday if he'd had these. <laughs> Probably 1890s. Just uh, this morning, Brother Green came in. And he said, I want to share something with you. And I believe these were his great, great, great grandfathers. And I said, Lord, I've never seen a set like that. Now, I've seen the two. <laughs> but you know what the story this tells? It tells that it was, this is discipline. You have to be dis disciplined because look how small those areas are. And you have to be willing to sacrifice. Come on here. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Well, I'm not getting, you know, the problem, well, you, this may not be ringing a bell. How many of y'all have ever sheared the head with, with, with clippers? Okay, now, now, I'm not, okay, for, well, for those who've never done it, then this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but for those who have, it's hard to miss it, Brother Griffin. Anyway, you, 
Anywhere you hit, you gonna hit, you gonna get something. You got three of them after you there. Huh? Somebody ought to help me here. But you got to be disciplined to use it. This 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 is probably over 150 years old. Nowadays we throw everything away. And then that we shouldn't have a hold on to. Never should have bought to begin with. We keep it and hard it up. Yes, it. Yes, it. Stewardship. I, got, I don't know what guy in the brother green. He, he got all kinds of goodies. He bought me, bought me the show. See that? We go. Huh? Two kinds of folk you use it. Shoe shine. <clears throat> and what was the first? The cobbler. A cobbler who made shoes. Now this way it started yesterday. And now that was the original. Now the only way you're gonna see one. I got some I had one in the airport. I got the lady with shining shoes. And so I let her shine my old shoe because I had shine. But that's the only place you're going to see one of these. But originally, they were cobblers who made the shoe. Somebody said amen. Huh? And then you bought them, and then you wore them, and then you used, them, used this to shine. You say, well, Reverend, what that's got to do? Well, I'm talking about abilities. Look at that text as we go. Look at that text. You got talents in that text, and and you got abilities in that text. That text says, "For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods." Now it's a problem. It has several applications. And one whom he gave five talents. First of all, and time will not allow me to do, to go in grave detail, but first of all, there are three particular areas God gives us. One is, as far as, as, far as ability, one is spiritual gifts. Amen. Write this down. I'm going to give you the distinction. Spiritual gifts. The one place you can find them enumerated is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. Spiritual gifts. Spiritual gifts. Are you all with me? Yes, sir. Pardon me. The next thing that God gives us is talents. Now, th there's a dichotomy going on in our text because the word talents there isn't talking about originally or primarily talents as capabilities. It's talking about money, but it's but it's but that's the primary. But the secondary is talents. Somebody ought to help me here. Jesus is something, the way he tells. Yes, all right. Now, and while I'm on that, let me just tell you, a talent, back in the time of Jesus, if, if it was gold, was over $5 million. A talent. Said he gave one five, didn't he? If you want from uh, exact, a weight of a talent in gold, in money, it was five million seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars in our money today. Even back in that day, it would have been quite a sum of money. Are y'all with me? Even if it was silver, according to today's standard, it'll still be worth three hundred eighty-four thousand dollars. Yes, sir. Either one of them do all right with you. <laughs> so we got talents. Now let's define talents. 
I mean, let's go on to the next one. The next one is abilities. God gives us, he can give us spiritual gifts. Amen. He can give us talents. Mm -hmm. He can give us abilities. Amen. Matter of fact, if you're going to have any of that, he's going to have to give it to you. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I, am I anywhere? Right. Right. Now let's let's define. It. Because in order to understand what God intends for us as stewards, we got to know what we got. Amen. Spiritual gifts, as you will see in that text, spiritual gifts are spirit provided. Yes. The Holy Spirit provides thee for a particular purpose. You just can't go around and get them. I want to speak in tongues. Well, baby, if the Holy Spirit hasn't given to you, you can speak all you want to, but it won't be in tongues. It may be in a lie, but it won't be in tongues. It has to give it to you. Discernment. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. If you look in there, it gives. If God grants it, you got it. Healing. I want to be able to be a healer. I want to be able to lay my hand. But I can't. Mm. 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 Talents. Talents are, listen, natural birth-given attributes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody help me here. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. I tell them all the time, athletes, listen, don't worry about the athleticism. You were born with that. If you can run a four or under four three high grand, you had that when you when when that, when, when the doctor whoever did hit you and you start crying. It's been there. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Well, let me tell you what I mean. A under four three means that's a fast rascal. That's in the forty, and everybody, every football team. Well, somebody on, especially a running back or a receiver, that can run on, that's 4.2 seconds in 40 yards. I know what I mean. 4.2 seconds in 40 yards. That's picking them up, putting them down. That's Deion Sanders type speed. And everybody wants that. But you know, everybody that's got it, they had it when they were born. Y'all don't hear me. Came here with it. Everybody that can play this up piano like, like Brother Green. Brother Green may have practiced, but Brother Green had it when he was born in Bowie County. Or was it me? What? <laughs> Bowie County. <laughs> he had it then. Sister, I'm just kidding. Y'all don't mind. Sister Bates, Sister Bates didn't have to get up and say, Lord, let me sing. She had it when her mother gave birth to her. Yeah. 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 It's there. God placed it there. With your birth, you got it. Now let's come to abilities. Abilities are not that way. Somebody will help me here. Abilities are developed traits and skills and qualities as a result of learning. Listen, church. Amen. Financial manager? How? Because he's good in math. He understands how the, the money concept. Good financial manager. Good man good good orchestrator. All of these things. There's some people that are good organizers. There's some folks. And, and, and I know she, she's gone from here, but I'm going to give her credit because she, she could. Uh, 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 Sister Anita was blessed with get, with, as an organizer. She could get stuff together for you and shake the stick. I mean, I don't like it. Everybody, I mean, I don't like it. But she could do a, little, a whole lot of stuff with nothing. I, I had to give it. I, she had a table set up back in there. I thought it was a whole lot of stuff she went and bought. And she told me she had turned one thing upside down. And the other right side up and did this, that, and the other made it look like it was something simple. But it didn't went to me. Some people are good at hospitality. 
They can do it. My, my mother's good. I don't know how my mama, my mother, I know I didn't see not one thing in that kitchen, Brother McGill. And folk were coming. <laughs> to be our guest. <laughs> and in about two and a half hours, everybody was sitting there rubbing their stuff. <laughs> Just as full and content they could be. <laughs> May I say to you, my brothers and sisters, everybody has some abilities. <laughs> everybody has some type of talent. Can I get a witness? And now here's the clincher that this scripture is telling us that it is a sin not to use your talents, gifts, and abilities as God has given to you for the glory of God. Amen. Many of us may not even know what talent we have are overlooking our abilities. We're going to have a workshop sometime here in the near future about discerning and determining our mobile skills. Because we, you know, really and truly, it's just like a football team. And I'm closing because you know, we're we going to be on this until the Lord tell me this. There's no need of me putting a five-foot, nine-inch man at the center, at the post on the, on the basketball team. You're right. They don't help. Did you... Did, they don't put the shortest one? No, no, no. Not in the center, do huh? okay. Not that you, you got to go up and get Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that if we can do all of that in the vernacular? Well, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here, here's another. The school district may let you do one year or so or however outside of your uh, certification. But sooner or later, they want you in your You ain't not teaching math. You got an English certificate. You ain't, uh, or whatever. You ain't not teaching math, and you just badly get out of algebra. <laughs> you did great in all of them. The church needs to place its talents and abilities. Somebody help. The church, and that's one thing I, I had to learn. Every, all of us are here, but we're not all the same. We all have some special thing that we can contribute. And we, let me tell you something else. There's no such thing that maybe somebody that's pretty knowledgeable, but we need to stop this business of making everybody be jack of all trades. They are not. And the, and, 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 and the main thing is, when you gave out those three sets of talents and abilities, don't you know that man? Why did he give that man one? Somebody ought to help me. He didn't give the man that wasn't going to do anything five. And you think he been had those shirts all that time and didn't know? I'm going to take my seat. Reverend Roberts, you didn't do so-and-so with me. I heard you gave so-and-so. Well, that's just like giving the five-foot... If you're not five foot and I need a center, <laughs> you run like me a 5.9 in the 40. Now that's slow. That's me. And I need a receiver that can give me a 5 or 4, at least a 4, 4, 4, 5 or something. Now why am I going to go and get you? It had nothing to do with me, whether I like you or not. 
But the job calls for a a four and un, a four two four three and un. Can I rest my case? We're gonna talk about these a bit a little more later. But this is what this parable is saying. And listen, I can't I can't do anything about your spiritual gift. But I sure can do something about your talents and abilities. Can I get a witness? I can't stop them, but I can sure channel them. Can I get a witness? And I don't want, I want all of you to do whatever God get, gave to you. I want you to do it and it multiplied. So when he come back, he said, well, Lord, thy good and faithful servant. Yes, sir. You've been faithful over a few things. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And you know what? You don't. If, if you're really gonna be faithful, you don't go find try to dig a hole first. Yeah. He should have looked at what he had and said, "Well, what else can I do?" You can always dig a. Too many people are trying to dig a hole. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I, I'm not fit for that. Have you all seen it? I heard this at the convention. <laughs> I got to share it with you. Said it. What preacher said? <coughs> one of the speakers said. You got to look around, and every time you go ask some member for something, oh, Pastor, I'm just a bitch member. <laughs> oh, I'm a bitch, bitch member. And he said, he finally figured out, he said, you know what? I think I got the only church that all I got is bitch members. He said, you know what? The bitch doesn't need any more members. Somebody ought to help me here. And you know you setting yourself short. You are slapping God in the face when you say all I am is a bitch. But don't you know God put you in this body because you had a particular contribution you can make. Come on, Brother Green. <laughs> Tell Brother George, I, did, I stop when I say that. I'm going to stop. <laughs> and we are going to be off in the benediction. May I have your attention? Let's, eternal God, we thank you for the gifts. We thank you for the talents. We thank you for the abilities. Now, as we go back up the list, help us to use the abilities, the talents, and the gifts to further thy mission upon this earth. Thank you for this young sister that has come. Let us be a blessed fellowship environment and growing ground for her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And all the people said, Amen. Amen.